Good evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and happy Saturday evening. It is December 28, 2019. We have a lot of news to get to this Saturday evening, so let's begin. First step, Rochester Police. Ice led to crash that sent man to hospital. Take a look at this photo right here. As you can see, this is the crash scene in this photo here. Police in Rochester say an icy roadway led to a crash that sent a man to the hospital early Saturday morning. The crash was reported about 1.45 a.m. on Cross Road, Rochester Police said in a press release. A 28-year-old man was driving a 2004 Cadillac CTS when he struck a patch of ice and lost control, police said. The car then went through a fence and struck another vehicle. The impact caused the vehicle that was struck to hit a third vehicle, police said. The driver of the Cadillac was taken to Frisbee Memorial Hospital with serious but non-life-threatening injuries. No other injuries were reported. The driver was later charged with driving after revocation or suspension. Worker dies during first night preparations in Boston's Copley Square. Let's take a listen to that video from WCVB Boston. Chevy Trax, the Chevy Equinox, the all-new Chevy Blazer, and the roomy Chevy Traverse. No matter what you're looking for in an SUV, Chevy's got you covered. And this is a video from a WCVB cameraman that took video from the scene. A man has died after being injured Saturday during the preparation for first night Boston festivities in Copley Square, police said. Police said the incident was reported at approximately 9.43 a.m. in the area of 560 Boyle Street. The initial report indicated that something had fallen, police said. Officials could not yet confirm the man's identity or how he died. Police called this an ongoing investigation. This morning, there was a fatal accident in Copley Square at set up for First Night Boston involving a construction worker. First Night Boston officials said in a written statement, We are deeply saddened by the occurrence and are sending our prayers to the family of the employee. Police were seen investigating the area with crime scene tape. Unfortunately, a partially constructed stage Singing and signing in the area indicated a payroll company called United Staging and Rigging was involved in the production. 
When contacted by WCBB, that company's general manager said the business is cooperating with police and the Occupational Safety and Health Administration. My heart goes out to the family and friends of the victim in Copley Square this afternoon, Boston Mayor Marty Walsh said in a statement issued by his office. Boston police are conducting a full investigation into this tragic incident. And we got new information on a story that we brought you earlier about the Scottish crash in Maine. One child killed, three adults injured, injured in Scottish crash. Police have identified the victim. Take a look at this photo right here. This is photo from the crash scene as you can see. One child was killed and three adults were taken to the hospital after a car crash on Chadbourne Road on Saturday. Officials with the Cumberland County Sheriff's Office said that an eight-year-old boy, Owen Oates, died on the scene of the crash. And here is another photo right here from the crash scene. Three others are being treated at Maine Medical Center and are in critical condition. Three vehicles were involved and police say the cause is unknown. The investigation is ongoing. A sole occupant of a third vehicle, a 31-year-old person, was treated for injuries on scene and release. Chadbourne Road was closed for several hours because of the crash, but has since reopened. Security preps kicking into high gear in Times Square ahead of New Year's Eve. Let's take a listen to that video from ABC News. Here we go. Security preps kicking into high gear in New York City's Times Square ahead of New Year's Eve. ABC's Diane Macedo is next to that famous ball with a look at what the NYPD is putting into place. Diane, good morning to you. Good morning, Wood. I think I definitely have the best assignment of the day. We all know the New Year's Eve ball is the big star of the show, but the workhorse behind the scenes is the NYPD and all the other agencies trying to assure that this celebration is a safe one. Now, the police commissioner says there's currently no credible threat to any events in New York City, but still, he says plans for this New Year's Eve started when the last piece of confetti dropped last New Year. And when you hear what they have in store, it's easy under to understand why this takes a year to plan. There will be thousands of cops in Times Square, the bomb squad, radiation detective teams. There will be trucks blocking every intersection, emergency units. They'll also be patrolling the waters of both the Hudson and the East River, and they'll patrol by air, not only by helicopter, but for the first time this year, they'll also be patrolling by drone. Now, the goal, of course, is to keep the estimated two million people who come to Times Square to celebrate safe. And what are they all coming to see? The iconic New Year's Eve ball. But get this, this ball, it's a little bit different from the one we saw last year. So we're going to find out how they get this baby up here. We'll also find out all about the new design. That's all coming up. But the big question today, guys, is will I be able to resist the urge to flip this switch because I want to so badly right now? I mean, what does it do at this point? Is it really turned on? Absolutely nothing. Just do it, Macedo. Do it. I don't know. Make it work right. If I flip this switch and at the same time, I'm so curious. We will be checking back in with her. That's all we need. They sign me here and I break the ball. Thanks, Diane. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. And... 
that does it for this evening edition of the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your Saturday evening, and I'll see you back here tomorrow for another newscast. Good night and bye, everyone.